Do you do you feel mm -hmm. that even with the glaring holes that we're talking about here this morning, <clears throat> that indeed also the problem, and I don't know whether this will put you on the spot, is in the way that women also view other women in a politics. You would like to think, Gloria, <laughs> that indeed, when it comes to a woman leader in this country, mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen women who have even run for presidential positions in this country. Mm. But there is no statistic that came out and said that, well, women overwhelmingly went and supported this lady to win those elections. I mean, we've seen examples in our counties where women essentially stand out, being governor, senator, all the way to member of parliament. <laughs> which, was, which is why I asked you this issue here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be an issue. But why would I expect to the population? Why would I expect as a woman to win a seat just because I'm a woman? I'm just turning the question the other way. Why would I yes. go by, for yes. instance, uh -huh. in Embakasi South, Does it? and then think because I'm a woman, people should just vote for me because I'm a woman? Because that has been an issue. That that's, men are the ones who... No, been, but, you see, but you see, but you see, even as a woman, that's nonsense. People are not going to vote for you because you're a woman. People still, as much as you're a woman, are going to look. What does your leadership entail? Showcase your leadership. Yes. As a woman, what makes your leadership different that I think, maybe let me vote for a woman because I can see she resonates with issues on maternity, on healthcare, on what, you have to give the electorate a reason beyond your gender to mm. vote for you. But we, we are not short of women who stand up for all these things you're saying, glory in this country. No, but I'm just saying, maybe it is the way they package themselves that it doesn't come, they, how is it Sarah believe you? Yes. You know, sometimes you get women, they stand and they just say, vote for me because I'm a woman. Nobody's going to vote for you because you're a woman. People will vote for you because you're a woman who is doing something that is different from the conventional male leadership that we have seen you understand but so we also have to as women we have to carry the cross that fine you're a woman that's okay fine it's three times harder that's fine work the three times harder but what are you offering the people you know my male counterpart is offering let's say 50 shillings each election year you what are you offering and not money what can you come and say this is different as a woman I understand ABCD, so I'm going to offer this and I'm going to showcase that women leadership has an edge, a positive edge. You have to offer something. And that's where also as women we go wrong. Yes. People just stand and they're like, oh, I'm a woman, vote for me. No, nobody will vote for you because you are a woman. Then are we not addressing a big Even women because, will yes, not vote for you because you are a woman. Is, is it a cultural <laughs> issue, Gloria, that we're trying to solve constitutionally? The constitution will never solve a culture. It's uh, our politics of not. I matured. agree with you yes. that it's somehow a political cultural issue. Does it? And now those are the things that I appreciate the affirmative action is trying to change, because already by placing nominated members of county assembly, members of parliament, members of senate, mm -hmm. by normalizing that there are women in those houses, that's the first step. Now we are done with that step. People already now know women nominated can sit. The next step would be, how do you get those women elected? Now, you can't force a person who's not a politician, even if you nominate them three times, they will never go, they will never go to be a politician to get elected. That's the first problem. Like, who are we nominated? Are those people politicians? Because that is a key factor on topping up to the point that if we're doing a statistics, the next five years, ten years, how are we going to get more women? To get more women through that nominative, the nomination seat, those same women must vie. You see, if you nominate someone for five years and they don't vie, they have not assisted the affirmative action at all. Yes. They have just collected a salary for five years. And there are many of them who have no intention of vying. They have no interest in politics. They have no interest in actually ensuring that affirmative action works, they will never go to the ground. That is why when they see some of us trying to start this marathon of getting elected, going to the ground, doing our politics, they fight us. Because they don't understand, because them, they are not going back to the ground. They are not interested. They have never been politicians. So they are just sitting there to collect a salary. And then after five years, you're going to come back and we will have this same conversation. That's why for me, I think and I feel strongly, yes. anyone who gets, if I was told, how do you solve the women issues to increase numbers? I will say number one, 
anyone that is nominated must perform nationally and be ranked like KCSC and KCPE but politically you vie you are number two that's the first thing and being number two countrywide what was your percentage of votes mm -hmm. if you had 10 percent Gloria had 60 percent automatically Gloria goes up on the list of nomination so that you get the top performers in politics and then those women when now you nominate them they will actually use the springboard to prepare for the next election already they know what it means to buy already they have participated in a general election already they have interest in politics so they will not just sit there to earn a salary yes they will legislate they will do the electorate uh, uh, activities that need to be done by the next general election if they were number two in the past general election and they now have a springboard a percentage of them will get elected then you will have more numbers but you keep nominating people accountants, people who have no interest in politics, they will never get elected. Yeah? I want us to take a tiny breather then uh, this morning on this particular issue.